Hi everyone, welcome to another unnaturally useful episode of Creative Suite TV. This week we're using all, well, some of the interactive features of InDesign CS5. We're going to create an interactive image gallery from some of my favourite photos. It's awesome, we're going to put some buttons on there and be able to click on it and go through. It's a super easy exercise. Just one small snippet of the fantastic interactive features of InDesign CS5. Really easy to follow along, why not give it a try? To start off our image gallery here, I've already gone ahead and put in just a grey background there. I've put on the master page so that on page one uh, we don't accidentally pick it up and move it about. And now we need to place our images. So I'm going to switch over to Adobe Bridge here where I have five images which I took down at Wilson's Promontory in Victoria. And we're going to place these into InDesign. And we can drag and drop them or we can use the file place in InDesign menu straight out of Adobe Bridge. And that gives us the loaded uh, placing cursor. So the quickest and easiest way to do this I think is to drag out a large rectangle and then just use your right arrow keys and, or, and you can use the up and down arrow keys to do columns as well. But I'm just going to use the right arrow key. We need five images. Actually, we might do two rows and, and less columns so we can fit them in there. So they're a little bit bigger. And drop them onto the page and, and, and there we have it. If you want to fit the frames back to the images, you can double click the bottom right hand corners like that. That snaps the frames back to fit the images and I think um, that's a very good uh, uh, way to go. If you accidentally click on this guy and get the content, you just double click the image again and that takes you back to um, uh, selecting the frame rather than the content. So let's one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to align them up. So I'm going to use the uh, align tools here, align, align, zoom back out, and then we can scale them all you can auto fit them all as well and um, and make sure that they fill. But um, if we scale them all up like so, we can have them any proportion like that. Of course, if you hold your shift key down, you can get the, it to scale in proportion like that also. And then drag your um, pictures. So now we have five pictures lined up uh, on our page, maybe a little larger perhaps. There we go. And we know we've got five there because if I if I click and just move the top one away, yep, that will reveal the one underneath. Incidentally, uh, while we're looking at this, there is a um, new yellow button up here. This is the click to edit corners button. So you can round the corners um, on your um, images without having to go to the object menu. Um, and of course, if you hold the shift key down, you can just do one corner as well. Because we've got multiple images though, you probably wouldn't do it that way. You'd select them all and go to um, corner options and then you can do them here. So you could say, you know, rounded corners on all, uh, five mil, uh, do a little uh, preview there. Um, oh, five pixels isn't enough. Let's do say 25 uh, pixels. Now you can start to see a slight roundedness. That's better. Okay, so we do all of them at once. Now they've all got rounded corners. Wow, this is going better than expected. We need some arrow heads now uh, to be the buttons. And I could just draw triangles in InDesign, but I don't want to. I'm going to use Illustrator. Well, I've already drawn some arrow heads in Illustrator. Aren't they fantastic? Right, so these little hands, they're going to be it. So I'm just going to copy that from Illustrator and paste it. Uh, into InDesign. And I know what you're thinking. No, no, Mike, don't cut and paste. You normally place them in. But because it's a pretty straightforward graphic, um, it's okay. You can double click. You can see that they're just little vectors. If it's a simple graphic like that, it's okay to cut and paste. Just double click them and make sure you're getting the vectors across properly um, from Illustrator as I cut and paste the other one across. Uh, lining that up. Yes, nicely lined up. A little further to the right. And there we go. There are our navigation buttons. Now, how do we hook this up and make it into an interactive gallery? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
Select all your images first. So I just click and drag over them to make sure that I have them all selected. And now we're going to switch workspaces over to the interactive workspace. Okay. And that brings out a bunch of different panels. Okay. For buttons and, and so on. As a matter of fact, I need to reset that like so. With the workspace reset, we can now create a multi-state object. You can see over here we have the object states. You select all your images, click on object states, and then simply click I'd like a new multi-state object. And InDesign is clever enough to read all the different images in. Let's go ahead and name this object and we'll call it Wilson's Prom. Okay, so it's very easy for us to recognize um, uh, later on. And of course, you can then go ahead and shuffle the states around to get a different order um, if you like to. I'm not too fussed about that today. Okay, now we have to turn our hands into buttons. Very easy. Come over to the buttons panel and all we need to do, you can go ahead and say, I'd like to convert it to a button or you can simply go ahead and add an action to it. Now, if you add an action to it, it knows it has to be a button and automatically applies the button action to it. So here we go. Actions, we're going to go to go to next state. And then it says go to next state of what? Of this object, Wilson's prom, and then stop at the last state. So it's really easy. It's going to toggle through our image gallery. Go back to over to our other button, choose the pop down menu and say go to um, go to previous state and stop at the first one. Now we can give rollover and click states to our particular um, uh, buttons. I'm not going to bother. I just really want to test this thing out. And we can do that as a matter of fact, we can do that right here in InDesign. So uh, from the preview panel here, I'll drag the preview panel out, uh, make it really uh, quite a large preview, um, hit the uh, play button over here. And there we've got it. I can click forward and back through our image gallery. Doesn't it look awesome? I can close that down. And now that I'm, I'm very happy with it, I can export it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and say File, Export. And then from here, I'll just save it onto my desktop. But what I really want to create is a SWF. There we go. And save that gallery onto the desktop. It's going to leave it all pretty straightforward there. I don't want the interactive page curl because I've got the buttons. Uh, and please generate a HTML file. Looks good. Press OK. And there we have it. And I should be able to just click and click back. Look at that. What a fantastic gallery. I'll pop this example on my blog as well. And enjoy creating your own image galleries using InDesign CS5.